risk. Well, many wind farms across the state have been installing new adaptive lighting technology that uses radar to turn on turbine lights at night when aircraft is detected. But the military says that puts covert operations at risk. We spoke with state officials who tell us what the government is asking for is tough. Two nautical miles is, is a significant setback and would have a pretty large impact on landowners' rights to develop wind. So if they have uh, land near these missile silos, and there's a, a significant number of them in wind-rich areas, they would then basically be prevented from, from developing that wind resource. And the commissioner adds a similar requests have been made by defense officials in Wyoming, Nebraska, and Colorado. The Public Service Commission hopes to have a response ready for federal officials by the first half of next year.